James Ellis has been a member of the European Parliament since 1984. Born on the 3rd of September 1949, he has a son and a daughter. James Ellis graduated from Edinburgh University. I was uh, initially uh, at uh, Edinburgh University. I studied agriculture, agriculture economics, spent a time uh, in accountancy, and then uh, came to uh, be a stagiaire, then an expert, then a full-time official in the European Commission as an international negotiator, assistant to the man who used to run the agricultural policy from day to day before coming here to the European Parliament. Now in his sixth term, James is the longest serving member of the European Parliament's Budgets Committee, having been a member for the past 27 years. James is also a substitute member of the Foreign Affairs Committee and the EU-US delegation. Internationally, James has always shown a deep interest in how the changing international situation affects Britain. He has also founded many think tanks. What I've done is to be the founder of three idea systems which uh, still flourish within the European Union. One is looking at the transatlantic one, the transatlantic policy network. Secondly is the European Internet Foundation, a co-founder in the year 2000 when we had the dot-com boom. This was a, a way of being able to uh, make sure that you could have ways of discussion and debate between parliamentarians right across the parliament and the people from the software companies, from the telecom companies, to understand better how we could give them freedom to be able to act within the European Union. And last but not least, in the previous group where I was a member, I founded the European Ideas Network, which was, uh, and still is, by the way, a think system for the centre-right in Europe which has a database of over a thousand people connected to the think tanks. Why? To be able to give fresh ideas in politics so that we can actually, as politicians, understand it's not just within the closed walls of Strasbourg or Brussels we have to think, but we have to think broader within our communities, within the European Union, and above all now, outside the European Union, when such big changes are going on in Asia that we have to be really conscious that we can be competitive in the global economy of tomorrow. A linguist, speaking French, Italian and some German, his sports include golf, skiing, tennis and running. I'm the chairman of the Ski and Golf Society. So we have various activities, not so much of skiing these days, but of golf, where we have an annual tournament, where we have a few parliamentarians who are interested in that. But above all, what we're doing is they're linking with the golf community across Europe, the golf managers, landowners, greenkeepers and people like that to think how we can have sustainability in the golf system because golf courses across the Czech Republic and everywhere else have spread like wildfire in the last 20 years and there's a question of sustainability of the environment which is critically important to those who are playing golf as those who are, live near to golf courses to ensure that this is kept up to a reasonable kind of level. So this is a kind of interesting one where the sport, which is really the leisure, and there's always lots of pleasure of walking around a golf course, at least for me, in the pursuit of just a relaxation amongst friends. Despite all this activity in the European Union, James firmly believes in being an assiduous constituency member, attending functions, visiting schools, colleges and companies, speaking to twinning associations as well as various clubs and special interest groups ranging from farmers to Rotarians.